Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. Plugging along with The Legend of Zelda Sealed Palace. In the last episode, we took care of the Water Temple. That took a while. And I did, there is still like one or two things in there that need to be done, but the dungeon itself is done. And we got our Sage. In case you can't hear it in my voice, I did actually come down with a cold. So I'm actually recording on a Monday because I stayed home from work because I felt like crap. So I figured I would get some extra recording time in. And, uh, yeah. So we're here in the Zora's Domain type area. We have the long shot, and we have the iron boots, so we need to go to the Sacred Realm. My plan is to get the Nehru's Blessing area done, and then theoretically progress into the fire temple since it seemed like the fire temple was telling me that I was gonna need a goddess's blessing to progress which I am imagining is Nehru's love which I also would imagine we would get from her sacred realm area so let's see is my theory gonna be correct only one way to find out the water temple was awesome though, that was really well done, I loved the uh, textures, the music was awesome. A lot of cool things that were going on in there. Let's see what's at the bottom of this little pool. Take a dip. Sploosh. I wonder if I could have hit that. And then dove. Or dived, dove, dived. It's not dived, it's dove. Grammar, man. Ah, Nehru's Depths. Yeah, we definitely would have needed the boots. <laughs> if we dove down here, we probably would be able to get out. That's okay, this is pretty neat. Can't break boulders underwater, though, so that's interesting. Gotta do some, uh... Rupee collecting. And where's the last one? Bubbles. Hmm. Oh, there it is. I caught a flash. Oh. We walked out of the water. That's actually pretty cool. I like this little water tunnel. Pretty cool. Put my regular arrows on. Can we shoot out? Oh, we can. Not sure if we needed to shoot that from there, but I figured I would. This is cool so far. I wonder why those are connected to the bar door. Oh. Hmm. Well, we got a knuckle to take out. No, you don't. It's nice not fighting it on ice. Oh, no. Ooh, that was close. Get out of here. We got a green thing. No melody prompt. Probably stuff we have to activate over this way. And then once they're both activated, we can get through the door. Maybe? That's the eye switch that we shot from the other way. Oh. Ah. Ah. Is there a behavior changed? To shoot more? And faster? Bro, you guys are pain in the neck. Everywhere I go, everywhere I've gone, the Octoroks give me a problem. Get out of here. 
Thank you. Get our bearings here. What do we got going on? Ew. Actually, I was wondering if it was gonna let me grab that. No, I want the wall thing. So close. But so far. I don't know why I was so bent on, uh... Oh. I imagine the switch would be useful. Let open that. Can we hover boots over there? Can we... Go for it? Uh, guess not. <laughs> I love when it does that, though. Oh hey, oh hey. Cool design. What does this do? Oh, that's a uh, that's a wall. What can't hook shots do that? Okay. So I guess we have to go through that hole we opened. Curious. Anything happens when we kill those? Guess not. Is this really our only way to get back up here? It's kind of a pain. Do the grabby grab. Guess we can do this. Look shot here. And over here. Ah. And I imagine this lets you go back up, right? Yeah. I don't want to do that right now. Yeah. And then we're back in this area. Huh. Oh. There's something at the top. So I feel like I've come full circle with my channel because getting close to the one year anniversary of my channel and I was sick when I started it and I'm sick now. So go figure, right? My channel is a lot better than it was when I started, that's for sure though. Especially even just in the past like couple weeks or so, starting this Zelda stuff, I'm like, wow. I guess people still love Zelda. People want to see Zelda. Zelda mods. If I go back and look at my videos that I originally made back in April of last year, the quality is not nearly as good. Although I'm not saying that the quality right now is anything to brag about, but... I've come a long way, let's just say. And I just think it's ironic that I'm sick a year later at the almost one year anniversary of this channel. I like the little windows here. Cool. So this seems to be the most intricate of the uh, goddess dungeons so far. And of course it would be the water themed one, right? Can we even do anything in here? I oh, can't go past that. Uh, okay. So what's the point of this room? I feel like I'm missing something. What is in there? Can't get through there. Stop climbing. 
the door. Can't get in there. Can go up and over this way though. Which is kind of strange. Oh, can't go any higher than that. Okay. This room is confusing. Hmm. I don't like having a week to sink to the bottom. stupid now. There's gotta be something I'm missing. There's always something I'm missing in this room. Solid. It's like I need to get on the other side of that, but how? I am very puzzled. Go back this way and try the other pathway. because of this idiot. Gotta be a better way to get up here. Thank you. All right, let's go back. This way. <laughs> 
Ah, oh, bats, lovely. Switch down there. Locked door. Oh, I see. Well, first, let's handle that eye switch. Oh, boy. Of course. Wow, okay, so I have to get down there and shoot the hook shot at that. This doesn't work on the eye switch, right? No. We okay. We gotta be speedy. So shoot the eye switch. No! Stop! Doesn't help that you can land behind there. God. It'd be nice if I could just like land against the wall and be on the platform, but no, it's gotta be like a tiny little gap. This is actually kinda tricky. Oh my god. There's like no control of my uh, trajectory. And then the camera screws me up when I come out of the gate cutscene. Alright, there it is, there it is. Haha! -ha. Thank you. Water stuff's always a pain. But it always looks so nice. Alright, we got more Bat BS. One. Two. And three. That was pretty good, actually. Huh. Well, there's the other side of that gate that we were looking at from the uh from the other way. I hear running water. There's a door. That's where we came in at. So that's probably going to go up. Get the piece of heart first. Whoa, hey, whoa. Some ice block shenanigans here. Ooh, another heart container. That's awesome. So that jet is probably just to get back up because we can't get up there without that. So I'm going to guess that's what that is. Go this way. More ice blocks. No, uh, there we go. So we got a switch. Can't hit that from that direction, so it's got to be this way. That don't do anything. It's kind of weird. Maybe let's at least I can see through here. Oh, that's the uh, that's the switch we hit the other way. All right, so what's the point of this room? Um... 
I'm confusion. What is the purpose? No. Fire arrows, I doubt that. No. Um What do I do? And what is the purpose of that block? That's kind of a little higher than all the other ones. And what is the purpose of being able to see through there? Mm. Lens of truth, maybe? Guys, I'm a little uh, at a loss here. So after much uh, wandering and stuff, I realize that you have to shoot this. Yeah. And the other one on the other side. So I'll see you on the other side. And just like that. And the gate is open. Look at that. Excuse me. I wonder what this could be. That's all three of the goddess blessings, so theoretically we can get into the fire temple now, if that's what that was referring to. So let's see. What was the song for the fire? A left, left, right, uh, uh, okay. Better pull on your hot clothes. Pray that we can get in here. <laughs> that was fail. Right again. And fail number two. Third time's charm. Thank you. Alright, so. Only with the goddess's protection may one enter these forsaken grounds. You don't say, huh? Let's see about that. I don't know how this is going to let us get through that. Oh wow, okay, yeah, I guess we can walk right through them. Ah, ah, ah. Sucks down your magic power, though. Of course, you can't get rid of it. 
All right, so let's get onward. The fire temple. Pesky bats. I like the song. Got like a driving beat to it. Hey, it's our magic power back. I wonder if it's gonna utilize uh, Nehru's love more in here than uh, just the entrance. Chest. These are hover bits. What could this be? I doubt it's a major item. Probably a dungeon map or a compass. Hey, a compass. Called it. Alright, um... Hmm. Which way? Uh, cause we know the lava is not walkable, so... That's mildly annoying. Let's do this. <laughs> my toe. The floor is lava. For real this time. So we got a giant pillar in the center, kind of like in the, uh, vanilla fire temple. That's pretty interesting. Can we blow up this, uh, rock? Cool. What is down here? Some arrows, thank you for that. And... Locked door. Well, I guess we'll go this way since we're in front of a door. Small chest, maybe a key? Oh, ho -ho. that was rude. We don't have a fairy, do we? No, we don't, so we gotta be careful because... Unpredictability is gonna kill us. Wow. There's a lot to this place. Alright, let's go in here, I guess. Let's nip this in the bud. Hmm. Frozen eye. Take care of that. I hear a bug. Aha. Double slug. Move this out. Thank you for the double speed blocks. Much appreciated. Nothing else in this room, right? Don't think so. Hmm, now we're at the bottom of that. This place reminds me of uh, Lost Isolith from Dark Souls 1. Ooh. Um, we gotta blow up that rock. We gotta time that better. Can we even get it over the fire? I don't know. Oh, that would have worked too, but I shouldn't have gone backwards out there. Alright, so we can go over the fire. We just have to not fall in the lava afterwards. Oh my god, we can't jump? It just drops. Maybe hover boots. Come on, come on, come on, come on. No! Good lord. Alright, how are we supposed to deal with this? Before without dying, cause... As soon as we throw that bomb, the thing starts moving down and then we can't jump off of it, it just falls right into the lava. Which is not helpful. 
Um. <sighs> this is annoying. Gotta break that rock. There we go. Alright, that's a switch. Thank you. Now that we lost most of our hearts, just to that. Hopefully we get some more. Oh boy. You will not touch me. Thank you. Got a skull to love. Really use some hearts. But those seem to be in short supply. Can we hookshot this? No, we cannot. Alright, so what do you want us to do? Always expect the unexpected, it looks like. Oh, these hearts, man. Is this gonna be a trap, too? Now it's key. Thank you. Alright, can we, um. I kind of want to shortcut my way back, but that's kind of risky, isn't it? Oh, holy. Okay. And... A yeet. And a yeet. Aha. I mean, not really that much of a shortcut, but, you know, every little bit, Al. He's got it back. Oh, that block doesn't stay then, huh? Alright. I see how it is. I hear you, bat. Will you drop any hearts? Of course you wouldn't. Why would you? So we're done in that pathway, it looks like. Theoretically. Now we're back in the main area. Another door over there, and the locked door. So now we gotta make our way back across this uh, treacherous lava. Can we jump? Say. So, kinda nervous now as to what's actually a jump or a drop. Thank you for the hearts. Uh. Why do I feel like a bat's gonna come down and try and screw me in a minute? Or not. Yes, we'll go this way. Dodongos. Or Dodongo. Singular Dodongo. I don't usually see those as adult link. Except for in the randomizers when you go Dodongo's Cavern as adult link. Um, that way or this way? Yeah, it definitely makes me think of Lost Isolith with like the broken pillars and stuff. 
I like it. Take note from software. This is what Isolus could have been. But no. Instead, it just burns your retinas. You. Don't mind if I do. So, uh, what did that do? Uh, confusion. Oh, I raised a uh, target. Aha! I knew that. And a big chest. A map. That's a map of the compass, so next large chest we come across is gonna be a major item. Has to be the hammer. Literally like the last major item we need. Besides the mirror shield, but as far as the main item screen, it's the last main item that we need. Oh, now we're over here. Nice, uh... Oh, that's like a Volvagia, 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 however you say that. Oh. Volvagia or Volvagia? Oh, this guy again. My favorite. It's not a hard boss, I just, I just don't like having to wait. under here like they usually hide in the uh, master quest no all right come back down Carefully, oh, scared the crap out of me, actually. Ow. That would be right there, wouldn't it? Ow. Alright. That wasn't very friendly. Alright, let's... Go here first. Yeah. 
they sink faster than in the vanilla game? I feel like they do. Ow. <laughs> Ay. Hmm. We need to get up there. our way over that way? Nice. But going up here just lets us access this pillar probably to hammer it. You have a hole though. Ooh, yeah, I don't want to jump down there. But I will want to hit that when the time comes. It's always satisfying. I always love hitting the giant pillar in the vanilla game. Alright, what sorcery is this? Got a bat. Get rid of that first. Nice shot. Hmm. Got a cage, we got a crystal switch, we got a switch. This room is chock full of switches. How about over here? Can we hover boots? I, uh, my heart dropped a little bit there. I mean, it wouldn't have hurt us that bad, but I'd rather not. Okay, let's not do that again. I see you over there. Let's just bypass that and go right for the switch, right? I think. Yeah. Okay. Can we hit that switch from back here? No, we can't. Oh, wait a minute. What did that open? It wasn't that gate. Alright, I guess we have to go back the legit way now, huh? Ooh. Toasty feet. I think I understand, and my brain just went ding. Hopefully, this is what I need to do. A little slow. Well, wouldn't you know it? God! I walked past that hole 300 times, and I'm like, oh, I don't know anything about that. Oh. It's alright. I'm a little slow. Slow on the uptake. And then we got the switch. That opens the door. Would you look at that? And that's something. Sheesh. Oy vey. I wonder what this is. It's gotta be the hammer. Smash and break stuff. Now we can hammer the pillar. Finally. Come on, come and get me. Give me heart, maybe? Oh, stingy. Alright, let's uh play the big whack on the pillar. Oh. 
Oh. Ah, we. We are not going to get messed up by you. And we get to use our one key that we've been sitting on all this time. Uh huh. There's the boss door. Let's go this way first, I guess. Mm. Close quarters, uh, floor tiles. Go away. Mm. Problem set, Rupee Max. Ah, there it is, 999. So we don't need to pick up any more rupees. Or should we? Another key. Also another door though. Uh. I knew that one was gonna come up and get me. Can we break these? We can. I'll take that. You. Sneaky. Cute. Oh. This leads back out here, which I don't want to be right now. I hear that. Alright, so that's all that way. Open this door. All we need is the boss key. My life flashed before my eyes. <laughs> I was not expecting to walk face to face into a uh, giant moblin. Got some stuff going on here. Looks like we're gonna need the bombs for the Bemo statues. Get rid of you. I hear a bug. Thank you for dropping that where I could actually get it. I love the song here. I love the driving ching. Ching ching ching. Close quarters BMO statue. Oh, there's a boss chest. Ooh. Alright. Get with the hover boots, but didn't have to. Open. And the boss key. Ow. <laughs> Forgot to roll. I still hear a bug. Where are you? We gotta get the bug. Oh, is he underneath here? I'm gonna say yeah. Yeah, see ya. Alright, now get out of here. Uh... 
Can we hook shot to the ladder? That's rude. Um. How do we get out? I gotta be back this way then, huh? Of course, we can't reach that, right? Um, are we gonna have to just take the hit? I'm thinking we're just gonna have to take the hit because. Uh, hot foot. Put us back in the door anyway. Thank you for the bonus hearts. Oh, that's lit up now. It wasn't lit up a second ago. Huh. So it lit up as we got close. We hit everything, right? All the gold skull tolas and all the rooms. Cool. Save it and uh, take out what I'm sure will be Valvagia. Or Valvagia. Val Valvagia. Let me know in the comments how you say it. Ah, yes. Vanilla room. Which is cool. Let's see how fast we can take him out. Turn you lava dragon. I always love this boss. Especially because we got the uh, only second time you ever hear the song. Oop, I have our hammer on. The alternate boss theme. Whoa. You got the boulders rolling around now? I should hit it. Yo! Alright, this will change it up a little bit. Do -do 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 -do. Not miss that. Oh, he goes really high up in this. Ooh, I kind of have a straight shot, right? We got one shot in. I think we'll get him in the next, uh, hit. Alright, let's get a jump attack in. Yeah! Still roll. <laughs> nice. All right. That's the fire temple done. <laughs> Only one more temple left. The spirit temple, which I'm assuming that it will be the spirit temple. Chamber of the sages. Thank you, brother. I really appreciate what you did. I thank you on behalf of the entire Goron race. You turned out to be a real man, just as I thought you would. The Wild Darunia. 
I've been the stage of fire all along. Well, what do you know? Isn't that funny? Nothing has made me happier than helping you seal the evil here. Take this. This is a medallion that contains the power of the fire spirits and my friendship. Shiny. You receive the fire medallion. Darunia adds his power to yours. Don't forget, now you and I are true brothers. How could I forget? Boom, boom. Alright. I think that's an excellent place to uh, stop for now. And figure out how we're going to get the last medallion in the next episode. I have an idea of where to go. Um, but until then, you'll have to find out in the next episode. So take care. If you like the video, maybe drop a comment, subscribe, like, I don't know, anyone. And uh, I'll see you in the next episode. Take care.